this is a great moment from for the School of Political Studies of the Council of Europe's Network of Schools of Political Studies. Great moment for the Western, Western Balkan sub-network. We are here from all the seven schools from the seven capitals, namely Zagreb, Podgorica, Sarajevo, Tirana, Pristina, Skopje, and Belgrade, together. This Regional Academy for Democracy is not a spontaneous idea. This is the result of almost 10 years of cooperation. We started cooperating from the very first day that the schools, almost from the very first day, that the schools were established in our region. I am proud to inform you that more or less all of us have our 10th anniversary these days, years. For example, the Belgian Fund for Political Excellence is officially starting the celebration of its 10th anniversary with this event. The Regional Academy for Democracy is for the time being a virtual institution. I think it will remain a virtual institution, but I'm also very convinced that it will not last only three years. It will last longer. I hope it will last as long as we are all together struggling to become part and parcel of the European Union, the most successful political and peace project of all times. Ambassador Deje reminded us this morning that the European Union is the proud recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. There were all kinds of reactions. I am ready to remember only the positive ones. Because I personally thought this was a great decision of the Nobel Peace Prize. And I'm not saying it only because the head of the Nobel Peace Committee happens to be Mr. Turpon Yapland, the head of the Council of Europe, who at the same time is the organization under which all species we are operating. Not at all. I think uh, Mr. Dejer was right this morning that this is exactly because of what it has achieved, which is absolutely unique in the history of humanity. But he also told us that he had a dream last night, uh, and that he hopes that we are sharing that dream. That maybe in the times when we all become part of the European Union, there will be another candidate for the Nobel Peace Prize coming from here. Uh, and the candidate will be our region. That is really the most wonderful dream we, I think, could dream together. And I invite you, the participants of this very unique effort, to dream about it. To believe that you will be the generation who will change our region, who will make the world get rid of the, well, we have to admit, negative stereotype of the Balkans of this very day. Let us, as proud citizens of the Balkans, prove that we have a reason to be proud because the Balkans will be part and parcel of the European community of people. We have to elevate our self-esteem, both as a region and individual countries. This is not to say that we still have many a challenge on this road forward, many obstacles, many legacies to overcome. Let's not forget the weight of the legacy that we have. Uh, we partake in the transitions of post-communist countries. Uh, we all lived under an authoritarian communist regime for nearly five decades. We are societies that not so long ago were deeply rural societies, patriarchal, paternalistic, where there was a lot of clientelism, 
and of course European history that rolled over us in the First and Second World Wars. There was no time, as the Hungarian historian Istvan Bibo said, to consolidate anything in this region as of the beginning of the last century. Let's remind ourselves that from 1918 until 1939 when the war began was barely the time that we have had now since the fall of the Milosevic regime here. So nothing could really take root. It is only after the Second World War, and then of course the Cold War came up. And so the fact that we are on the European continent and that we are partaking in this peace project, which many have forgotten about in Europe because they have been living in peace for so long, and yet we know of it and that's why we want to join it, that we are actually moving compared to any other part of the world in a post-conflict era more rapidly than anyone else. And I think we can be an example, and in many ways already are, because many of our NGO leaders and experts have already traveled to other parts of the world, whether it's uh, Afghanistan or Iraq or now Northern Africa, where they have been conveying their experiences and transferring their knowledge. I think we can be a success story here. We're not far away from it. Um, and of course, the closer one gets, the farther the goal is. And that is why I believe that this particular effort and this particular project, where, again, the Council of Europe and the European Union are so deeply involved, which means that we do need help from our friends. Although we understand that the burden is on us, it behooves us to change ourselves. In a modern world, solidarity is something that is a key principle along with other democratic principles. And thus, we are the recipients of this solidarity, we feel it, which again puts more responsibility on us because we are being helped to move forward. And as I said, I think that we need to be aware of that, elevate our, high, uh, uh, our self esteem, because I think that will help us push forward on the remaining difficult tasks ahead. And as Sonia, I believe that the goal is within reach. I believe that in the next decade we will be there. But the key thing is that as we endlessly repeat, this is about ourselves, this is about certainty, this is about creating stability, and this is about citizens feeling the values of democracy and human rights clearly stated and exercised in the institutions of the state, whether it's the legislative, the executive, or the judiciary power. You said, Sonia, something which was in uh, so even uh, taken again this concept about the pride of being part of the Western Balkans. And if you me, I would like to uh, just bring it to my mind someone that uh, had said the same thing quite a few years ago, and unfortunately is no longer with us, it's Franco Dinovic, who uh, was the, um, soon after the, um, the war, when we were still in a quite difficult situation, in a coffee, in, not here in school, but in Bay, where we say we should be proud again, proud again of being uh, of this part of the um, I think that uh, it's very nice dreaming, and I think it's a very nice dream, the one that uh, Vincent has dreamt uh, tonight. Um, it's even better to turn it into reality. And I believe that uh, this is in uh, our hands, and I'm not trying to uh, take distance uh, as much hours as yours. But you have a special responsibility in, uh, in this part of the story. Um, and the work that is being done uh, uh, by all the schools of public administration, uh, the network of the uh, uh, academy um, is an element, important element in turning uh, this dream into reality. Um, it is true, I mean, it's you who are the younger generations, uh, very much of this responsibility is in your hands. In, uh, uh, how you're using uh, uh, the role that you have in institutions and the society, uh, which is the kind of message that uh, um, you are going to uh, promote. 
Um, I always believe that uh, uh, I don't want to sound, how to say, uh, arrogant against the gods, but I mean, the, the destiny is much more in our hands than in the hands of other people. And it's up to us to uh, um, shape up our destiny. And uh, uh, there are many other elements that are coming into it, but it's up to us to uh, uh, take destiny in our hands and move it forward. Um, and I think that initiatives like this are showing that uh, um, looking at the future uh, is what is needed at this stage. Uh, I think that we are all aware of uh, uh, where the region is coming from, uh, what it has gone through, uh, which have been the problems that it had to face. And it is also true what uh, um, Ivan was saying, that is uh, one of the uh, um, most rapidly moving uh, post-war societies uh, from all points of view. Um, and if we are now uh, uh, speaking about the possibility for all the countries of the Western Balkans to uh, join the European Union in, I would say, for a seeable future, then there is something important to be, uh, 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 to be uh, drawn as a consequence. Um, but once again, it's up to us. It's the how we shape destiny and how we decide that uh, the red lines are not necessarily red lines, that we're just uh, maybe pink or somewhat white and can be trespassed and moved and uh, turned into something different. Um, and if I look, for example, and uh, it's not the only thing that is happening, that the, uh, uh, at the dialogue that is taking place between Belgrade and Pristina, this is a quite enlightening example of how things may change, and even in a very limited amount of time. So it's, um, I think that this is the sense of the work that is being done. This is the reason why uh, I believe very much in, uh, in these projects. Uh, as I said this morning, uh, um, it's always interesting to look in the, in the direction that Sonia is looking to, because usually you see the future <laughs> better than uh, uh, other people. And I think that the effort that has been made on uh, um, leaders of young generations uh, uh, is one that uh, uh, is essential to create a different community uh, in the Western Balkans and to create a different community of the Western Balkans in the European Union. Dear friends, Dear Mr. Salino, Ms. List, Mr. Weberda, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear RAT participants, it gives me great pleasure to be able to welcome you all today in Subotica at the opening of this important program. It is symbolic that the program of Regional Academy for Democracy is being opened right here in Subotica for several reasons. Subotica has always been perceived as an intercultural city by, uh, by virtue of its ethnic, composer and geographical position as the historical meeting point of a different cultural, national and religion influence. Throughout the centuries-long history of joint living and respecting the ethnic, religious and linguistic diversity, the city has become a unique historic habitat that has embraced diversity as the guiding principle regardless to the notion of relative majority or minority. Indeed, there are 21 ethnicities living in Svotica, out of, out of which Hungarians, Serbs, Croat and Unyamats are most numerous. It is in the context that one should recognize why, during the uh, turbulence of the 90s, Subotica has not exper experienced ethnic conflict prevalent in this region. Despite unfa uh, unfavorable external situation, uh, change uh, characteristic by war induced is, uh, instability, the inhabitants of Subotica have kept high level of tolerance and uh, empathy towards their fellow citizens, regardless of their nationality. This fact is mirrored, for example, in great number of inter-ethnic marriages, among, amounting to over 15% of the total number of marriages annually. Uh, furthermore, the local self-government has fully recognized the relevance of diverse cultural 
trademark of different group within our community and has therefore adopt policy measures which promote interculturalism. In, in reality, the city administration is investing substantially higher budgetary resources to support cultural programs of different ethnicities in comparison to other muni municipalities in Serbia. This share amounts to over 11% of the total city budget, whereas the average share in Vojvodina is just above 6%. Following the central theme of our today's discussions, it is worthwhile saying that the Western Balkan countries desperately need fresh ideas, new people, and new generation of politicians who will bring about positive changes in governance and decision-making proceeds. Since we live in the so-called post-conflict societies, the politicians need to explain to our citizens what we can live not next to each other, but together with each other. We need them to give to our citizens the example of how to nurture, tolerance and understanding. At the end, my friends, dear guests, I wish you I staying in our city in Subotica <coughs> and I hope that all of you have uh, achieved expected result in, in this meeting. Thank you, Omar and Rabbi, our city, welcome to Subotica.